Have you ever been 30,000 feet in the air, having just paid a ridiculous amount of money for one hour of Wi-Fi just to have it cut out when trying to check your email? That's where that little bump comes into play. But why is it that Wi-Fi on a plane is so awful in the first place? And how will Elon Musk's revolutionary Starlink system change that? The thing is, most airplanes today still connect to internet satellites that are parked way, way out in space, specifically 22,000 miles above Earth. These are called geostationary satellites, or geosatellites for short. And while they do their job, the issue is distance. The farther that signal has to travel, the slower it gets to you, like a message in a bottle floating across the ocean slow and frustrating, right? Well, that's what airplane Wi-Fi feels like now, especially when you try to stream or game. But hang on, because in just a moment, we're going to show you how something as close as the edge of space is going to make all of that ancient history. Some airplanes are stuck using air-to-ground technology, a system that is more grounded than you'd like. It's like your cell phone clinging to towers far below. But as soon as you soar out over the ocean or beyond those towers reach, you're out of luck. 